Looks good. So let's start going down this way. like this. craziest day today so I was like I've just got to play some Minecraft. You ever had one of those days? Comment below. Tell me about your day. Oops. Seriously, I'll listen. It's not like I've got a lot of comments to reply to. I'm not complaining. I don't mean to complain. For me, it all started about 4.30 this morning. I usually wake up about then. Um, I don't I don't immediately get out of bed, but I'll just kind of lie around for a while. But today I was like, you know what? I need to get out of bed and check on the, you know, didn't I mention those GitHub issues? Because the guy who's working on it is in Ukraine and he works like, I don't know, till late, sometime late in Ukraine. And so the time he gets off work is 6 or 7 a.m. in China. So I was like, I better just check in, because I've been waiting on him and waiting on him to do some stuff. Anyway, I checked it out. It took it took a while. You know how that stuff goes. It's just like, you got to check it, and then if you want to feed back, you have to tell exactly what you want done and be super clear about it, which is fine. I enjoy it. Um, and I think I'm pretty good at it. Like, it's, I guess it's kind of like just being a project, product, maybe product manager for a new app, even though it's just like our own that we'll use. But I think it'll be good, and I think I'm good at putting that stuff together. And then I had another early call with the bookkeeper. She's in Texas. Man, listen to my international life. She's in Texas and it was 
you know, 4.30 in Texas and she works normal, you know, work hours, so she gets off at 5. And so I needed to call her. That was 5.30 a.m. here. 5.30 a.m. here is 4.30 Texas time. So we talked and it went fine. She's just starting some new work for us and we just needed to talk about it. We don't have to do that every day or every week even, maybe, you know, once a month, once we, once she's, you know, got it down. So by that time, the bunny is freaking out. <laughs> The bunny is just like hopping everywhere. Where are you? Why am I not outside right now? I call it bunny town. That's what he thinks it is. The outside courtyard. He thinks it's bunny town. So anyway, we go out to Bunny Town, and I just sit out. I just sit out there with him for about an hour, and I just relax and stuff. Have a cup of coffee, eat a banana, give the bunny a slice of banana. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Screenshot. Um, and while we were out there, Joe, the guy that, it's not J-O-E, it's Z-H-O-U, the guy that's, uh, you know, one of our trainees right now, he was looking down, there's a part of Bunny Town I can't see from where I'm sitting because it's on the other side, kind of around the corner of the building, and he's like staring down there. And, and just kind of confused looking. <laughs> and I'm like, what is it? And he's like, there's a cat down there. And he's just like really mystified by it. Like, have we adopted a cat? <laughs> you know? It's like, well, why is there a cat there? And it's just like a you know, stray cat. But I don't know, you know, maybe because we have a bunny and a dog, he's like, you know, now is there a cat? <laughs> but I was like, no, we need to chase the cat off because I don't want the cat to feel like it's welcome here because we have, we have a dog and a bunny. The dog would like to eat the cat. And the dog is pretty fast. I mean, the dog can literally catch mosquitoes and mice. Um, so I, I don't think the cat, you know, the dog would be able to catch the cat. And if he did, he'd probably get like totally scratched. But, you know, it, say he was napping or, you know, you know, he felt comfortable here lounging, you know, that, that could, you know, the dog could stealth, stealthily surprise the cat at some point. I, I don't love cats. Um, I shouldn't put it like that. What I mean by that is I like cats. I don't love them. <laughs> We've had a cat at the center before. It just didn't work out. And um, it was just real ornery. You know, cats all have different personalities. And um, this one just insisted on, like, being on sanitary surfaces in the kitchen and like there was just oh, that's cold looking too screenshot 
Um, so we had to get rid of it. And um, and we've got enough pets here. I, I don't want. I just you know an another animal is not what we need around here at the moment. I love the animals we have around here. But yeah, so anyway, chase the cat off. Then I did my workout. I'm doing physical therapy right now, uh, mainly for my knee, but also my elbow and my heel. Oh, that looks cool. Ooh, I like that. A screenshot. And that takes a good 50 minutes, you know, so, um, needless to say, my morning is, like, shot. But that's not the last of it. I got the, you know, just kind of putting my day together, like, what do I need to do today? And it's a, you know, sometimes I just have a day when... I can't really work on, you know, like dig into a meaningful project. It just seems like I just have a pile of, you know, things just gonna need to catch up on. And it felt like that was kind of how the day was coming together, you know? I'll just give you an example of one one thing I needed to do, this isn't a work item, it's a personal item, but I needed to go to the pharmacy and get some of those vitamin D drops, you know. I ran out of them yesterday and I meant to go last night, but it was raining. Because it was kind of the tail end of that typhoon. I was like, hmm, you know, when am I going to do this? Wait till, you know, after work and, um, you know, scoot her up to the pharmacy and it's not like super painful, but, it, you know, it's half an hour there and back. And looks pretty good. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to prove to this day that I'm not going to be discouraged. And I'm just going to immediately go out, go to the pharmacy, get my vitamin D, take my vitamin D just to prove that, look, I know I've got a lot to do today and it's kind of random stuff like this. So I'm just going to kind of choose the most annoying task of the day and do it first. <laughs> and of course it wasn't bad. You know, it's nice to get out. I haven't been out in a while. Just take the scooter out. But then, um, before lunch, and you know, I was like, should I stop at KFC because I'm out? And that's kind of a special treat <laughs> for me. Might not be for you, but lucky. You're lucky if KFC is not a treat. Uh, but I was like, no, I, I got stuff I can eat and it's more healthy to eat at home. And I didn't really feel like I needed a, you know, a treat. It's not that big of a treat, you know. Let's let's be honest. Uh, 
Oh, but about as soon as I got back, you know, uh, there's another freelancer who's in Ukraine. Where did I say the other guy was? He's not in Ukraine. Hello? Oh, okay. Um, well, they want me to go eat. How perfect was that? That the music stopped right when I had to go eat dinner. I hope I didn't yell in your ear. But yeah, I looked it up. The other, the other freelancer is also from Ukraine. I knew she was from Ukraine, but for, for whatever reason, I thought the other, the other guy was from another country. Um, but yeah, the front end designer stays up late in Ukraine and works and so I get up you know early to talk to him the user interface user experience I guess it's UI UX designer gets up early he said three in the morning um, Greenwich Mean Time, but that wouldn't have been three in the morning for her. I, I don't guess, but I it was four. It was four in the morning Greenwich Mean, mean Time. when she started talking to me. And so we talked, you know, I thought this is, and I kind of been waiting for her for like several days to reply on some issues that we really needed some answers on. And I thought they were gonna, I thought it was gonna be pretty quick but I didn't realize almost all the things. Look at that, so cool. Screenshot, but I don't think, you know, you just can't, you can't capture that movement with a screenshot. Anyway, um, it took hours and I ended up ordering KFC that's the ironic kind of full full loop of hysteria and insanity <laughs> that happened that was my day can you believe that? Oops. Didn't mean to get rid of that long grass, but as we know, I think I'm probably just going to get rid of all of that eventually. But let's see how it looks once this whole area is clear. I'm really excited about 
getting this episode done. And oh, look how close I am to the end. I must be having a good time. Time flies when you're having fun. Did you know that? Um, and plus it's not as long as the other sides because of that cliff. I didn't think I was going to go this fast. Well, then after that, I got done with her about two. And then I had to do, you know, everything else. I was, you know, planning on doing this today, and I won't, I won't bore you with every single detail, <laughs> as if I haven't already bored you already. Oh, I won't bore you with that. I'll just bore you with the other stuff. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is weird. Why? How did I get down there? I must have just like... At some point I quit going up this high. It's probably why I'm making... I thought I was making such good progress. I think this is probably a little more narrow than the other um, sides I've done too. I don't know. But it'll do. Wow, I fell. This big tree. Perfect one for a tree house, wouldn't it? But no tree houses. For now. going to the city center tomorrow. I'm not excited about it. I'd like to have a nice day of work at my desk. somebody um, and then I gotta go to the physical therapist and I'm getting a haircut 
and I need a haircut, so I'm excited about that. Do you like getting haircuts or is it something you dread? Comment below. I don't like it, uh, I guess. I'm kind of working on a new look. <laughs> I'm working on a new look. Um, and that might be why, and it's working for me. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah, so I just need to get it updated and, um, you know, my new look involves my uh, beard and mustache. So I guess that's kind of fun. Uh, I don't know. You know, I guess it's one of those things like a haircut. I rarely look forward to actually going to the barber, but my barber is a friend too, so that's fun, you know. Um, I, so I, re I was going to say, I rarely like look forward to getting a haircut, but it feels good when it's cut and usually, you know, looks better and looks all trim and tidy. And it's easier to comb for a few, easier to style for a few days. I'm one of those people that's always trying to do something new with my hair. I've had like countless <laughs> hairstyles. You know, not, not all that radical, obviously. I mean, but I'm always trying to do something different. To be honest, it looks best short, but for whatever reason, I just like I'm all I always want to grow it longer so why not you know I'm just gonna have kind of long hair on top is the uh oh Yeah, there's surprisingly few vines on this side, it seems like. I feel like that's all also why it went faster, because vines are so hard. You have to aim just perfectly. Look at this, we are almost done. Maybe it was sp also splitting it up in two that kind of helped. And also the fact that I just was able to vent my whole day to you. And you just listen to it all so patiently.
How did I miss that? I have been talking too much this episode, haven't I? Maybe there's bin vines, I just haven't, I've been ignoring them. Look at this. They are everywhere. Couple more blocks here. So this is definitely the sloppiest I've done it so far. Okay, let's take a look at this. Looks pretty good. I was afraid it was gonna be like more narrow than the other sides. I think this is probably the widest, isn't it? I did a really good job here. That's why it took so long. I bet that one, that episode was over an hour, wasn't it? So next time, and I think this is going to be really fun. We're going to start in on that cliff. And remember, we've got that great tree there. We've got to figure out how we want to do that. And it's going to come wrap around like that. That's going to be fun. Thank you. 